Hey everybody, it's Party Elite. Welcome you back to another episode of our Planet Zoo franchise mode. Let's play. We're gonna dive right back into Elite Zoo South and continue where we left off, of course. Things are looking pretty good. We're actually, we're, hold on a second, four and a half stars? Weren't we at five stars? Weren't we at like four and like nine tenths stars? Anyway, it's fine. It'll be fine. It'll be okay. Happiness is high. Money is looking good. We got lots of 101 animals, a beautiful number, but we will be, I think, doing a little bit of managing over there. Guest counts are good. Everything's good. We'll take a look at this, but overall, I'm feeling really good about our current circumstances and how last session went. I have to say, I mean, uh, again, I read I read all the comments as I do, and uh, I just I have to say it's it's great not only because uh, it's, it's good to see what y'all are thinking and feeling in terms of ideas you might have or, you know, just what's going on in life. I, it, it's great insight into, into, into y'all as well. It's, it's always fun. But last session's comments, I just want to say, uh, was really quite kind of all of y'all to, to, to be so, like, uh, motivating and, and positive. I just want to say, I just want to give a shout out, is um, uh, so many of you called me out 100% accurately. Uh, and I don't know if I've mentioned it before or if it's just I make it so blatantly obvious. But I, I, I tend to be pretty uh, pretty rough on myself in terms of uh, the quality of my work or the uh, or, or how much I get done here and there or in a session or what have you. Uh, and I was uh, I was trying not to be too vocal about it. I was I was I was trying not to. Uh, to make it apparent, but I, I guess I guess I failed at that. Um, that I was uh, I was really worried that I didn't do too much uh, in yesterday's session, and that we we kind of like uh, did didn't accomplish too much and, and all that. But uh, but y'all proved me wrong in the comments. Clearly, uh, evidently, uh, many of y'all are very much satisfied with the progress we made, and uh, and I should have been satisfied as well. Uh, but that's that's part of who I am. Again, I try to I try to keep that on the uh, uh, on the down low, so to speak, because it's just like it just. It, it, it's how I tend to be, but clearly, like I said, clearly, I didn't keep it uh, down low enough, I suppose, and <laughs> so many of you were like, hey man, don't be so hard on yourself, I appreciate it, just wanted to say, uh, because yeah, I was definitely a little worried, I was like, ah, did, yeah, did, did, did we do enough there? Uh, on the flip side, I want to mention as well, like as much as I would love to do just like a full time-lapse session uh, of just getting stuff done, the reality is, uh, that I, I to sit down and, and spend that much time on a, on a singular thing, just not able to do that and maintain the same quality of work. I think it would. I think the quality of work would suffer for it. Because again, every every time lapse uh, takes a lot of real time, right? Even though it, uh, even though obviously the time lapses pretty quickly, it takes a lot of real time. So uh, uh, that is something I try to balance all the time. And we have gotten a few longer time lapses recently, uh, especially the one where we installed this, uh, you know, the the, the ride and everything. Uh, so I do try to dabble in that from time to time, but I think today hopefully we'll see the completion of our entrance area and Croc Rock. Glad to hear that many of you are enjoying the kind of developments and stuff we've got going on over here. My plan is we'll do a little bit of management stuff first because there is some of that that I've been neglecting for the last little while. Again, as some of y'all pointed out quite rightfully. So I think we'll tackle that just for a little bit first uh, and then we'll get ourselves into the time lapse, spend some time, hopefully complete uh, this area once and for all. Uh, and, uh, and the next session we can move on to, uh, to other things. I have some, I have some pretty neat plans. I think what I'll do next session is actually develop, uh, the South America region, uh, add our final South American animal. I've got a plan. I've had an idea that I've wanted to execute for a while and uh, I'm kind of like getting, uh, I'm like, you know, you know, super excited to try and execute it, which is why I, I think I want to go there as opposed to spend more time in Australia and Africa, which of course need need a lot of love uh, from us too because they're pretty barren right now. Oh, may maybe I should do Australia and Africa. I don't know. Y'all let me know down below. I'm definitely excited to do this thing that I have planned, uh, but but y'all let me know. Maybe it'd be more responsible of me, uh, not just for, you know, for you guys to, to view, but also for our guests who are visiting, maybe be more responsible to do one of these two uh, uh, parts of the zoo. A a anyway, um... The management stuff I need to take care of. There's a fair bit of it, and I want to make sure we we get all, if not most of it, done, and then we can move on to uh, to the time lapse without having to worry about things being left behind. So the first order of business, the first order of business is this actually. Station eight. Let's go ahead and rename you. Um, I don't have a name idea right now. Well, this is supposed to be a test anyway. Uh, let's call this Camp Capuchin. And the reason why I'm doing this is because if I shut you down, oh, wouldn't you know it, they fixed it. This used to be a, there used to be a bug 
where if you named a station and then you had to shut it down and reopen it for whatever reason, the names would reset, which is why I've been so hesitant to uh, to rename the um, to rename these stations. Uh, but obviously, it makes it so much easier to find them. So uh, let's see, camp. How do I? I guess the best way to do it is click here or place exit. Okay, that's how we know it's the right one, right? Uh, and I'm pretty sure it's it's in order that we place them down, but I just want to be 100% certain. Uh, let's check you out as well. You should be station. Yep, you're this one. Uh, it really would be ideal to have the exit more on this side, wouldn't it? But um, I guess I could swap them out. I just have to change how this works. Uh, we can do that later too. We can do that later. Let's go ahead and call this uh, Africa entrance. So what this means, because these names actually get saved, what this means is uh, I'm going to need some name suggestions. <laughs> That's what that means. So, folks, if you have any name suggestions for these, then uh, don't hesitate. Uh, drop it down below, and I will I will go ahead and get the naming done. It means that when we next go to Elite Zoo North as well, there are some names to implement, too. There was a Panda Express. There was a Polar Express. There was so much. So uh, <laughs> we can finally get that stuff implemented. Over here, Australia. Sure. Again, these are temp names. Oh, please give me name suggestions, because otherwise they're going to stay named like this forever. I know it. Uh, so drop them in the comments down below. And as always, folks, if you've been enjoying this series and you would like to see it continue, please don't hesitate to keep letting me know. Leave a like, leave a comment. It does make a very big difference. Um, should we let them rename this by mistake? It makes a very big difference. I do read through all the comments as well, and it does let me know what people's interest level is. Uh, I saw an interesting question come up recently about like, well, surely the number of views makes a difference, right? And it does, yeah. Uh, the number of views makes a huge difference, of course. Uh, but likes and comments is the difference between someone who might just have like took a peek and was like, hmm, okay, not my thing. They still count as a view, but if you like, then it's like, okay, you enjoyed it. If you leave a comment, then okay, you like, you really enjoyed it. And now I understand, don't feel the pressure because I understand some people are watching on their TVs or on devices when they're not logged in and stuff like that. It just helps. It's not the end of the world, but it really helps me a lot. Uh, so I hope nobody feels like, you know, they get a lot of people saying like, hey, I'm sorry, I haven't commented in so long. Don't worry, don't worry, there's no pressure. Uh, but it is greatly appreciated, of course. Um, Let's see. Um, 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 okay, so the naming is done here. My mind is going at a million miles a minute right now because uh, there's so much I want to try and accomplish. Uh, one of them being this main circuit of ours, which we can also probably rename. Uh, I, I want this thing to work. I want this thing to work. Now, I've received a couple of suggestions, and I'm going to experiment with them, and I'm going to try and make it so that this entire session isn't, you know, us dealing with this thing. One suggestion is to lower the speed. Not only would that lead to a more scenic trip, but it might also buy some more time uh, and, and allow things to move more fluidly. So that is one thing that's been suggested. Let's try 10 miles an hour. I think that'll that'll help. Camp Capuchin, let's go ahead and edit you. Uh, if I only remembered where to click. There we go. Any load. No wait times. Don't block station. That way, if you're here and you're waiting, you might see 10... Uh, what are these things called? Ours, I guess, go by, but you'll get on the eleventh one, right? And and it's a little bit of a wait, but you'll you'll get on to that eleventh one. So I think any load don't block station should work over here. We might need to do that everywhere, but I don't think I'm ready to to pull the trigger on that just quite yet. I want to see if the stuff that has been working elsewhere so far will continue to work everywhere else. Because the only trouble, the only struggle we've had is, of course, the um you know the the delayed arrival of the of the cars. Uh, with that done, I think we're good to hit play. Everything else that needs to be managed can be managed while we're playing. Ooh, no. Right, we did have the other grown-up over here. Um, so Guatemoc is our keep, and Itzli has become an adult as well. Decent stats, not the best. Immunity is a little bit on the lower side, but still solid stats, actually. I shouldn't be complaining. Uh, but Itzli will be set up for trade. Trading, I think we will do later on this week. Again, I will throw out a tweet uh if anybody's interested in picking up some of the animals that we have at Elite Zoo South, then uh, I will throw out a... And North, actually, because we have quite a few animals. Uh, so over to the Trade Center with you. In fact, if we take a look at the animal storage here, we have 46. Yeah, this has got to This has got to happen fast. We, we got to we gotta do this for sure. Um, let's take a look at any species, please. Like, what do we have? What do we have? Snow leopards, Siberian tigers... Uh, some of these animals are staying for trading in when we get back into Elitsu North, obviously. Uh, Ratu, I guess we can... I think we'll keep, but Adige will be trading. Red 5, of course, stays. Monaro goes. Emma, William, Embry, Sante. I mean, these are all pronghorn antelopes that are... Antelopes? 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 In my head, I was, like, reading envelope. Like, envelope, envelope. 
Um, okay, that was weird. Pronghorn antelope. <laughs> a bunch of them. A bunch of Komodo dragons. Though it ha they have... So Komodo dragons have been brought up a bit in the comments now about are we going to have them here. If we do, I suppose I would put them in the Australia section, air quotes, uh, and make Australia section into an Oceania section. If we're all cool with that, then I will do that. But uh, we can totally have Komodo dragons at Elitsu South. They would fit the uh, the bill absolutely. We got jaguars. We've got uh, rhinos, Indian rhinos specifically. We got grizzly bears. We got ant eaters. We got gharial, lots of gharial. We got giant tortoises of very good quality. Of course, we'll be keeping some for Elitsu South. Uh, we got Bengal tigers, some that we're keeping, but some that we're trading. We got bears. Like we got a lot of animals, really high quality animals. Uh, point being, I'll be tweeting out when I'm doing that trade session. Uh, if you follow me on Twitter, you'll be you know kept up to date with that. And uh, yeah, and then then you know as I trade the animals out, hopefully we can spread the love a little bit in the uh, within the community. I try to keep prices reasonable. Uh, I do have to make a fair bit of conservation credits because African animals and stuff are pretty expensive. But I try to keep pricing reasonable. You're not going to get a ten thousand dollar you know price set for me at least so uh so that's that um also right it's been suggested if we oh, look at why is it zero percent it should not be zero percent you are the anaconda condo yeah education is yeah working just fine people wish they could have stayed for longer social group is a bit of a problem over here so let's go ahead and get rid of leia because uh remedios is uh pregnant right now one thing I should check, actually, and this has uh, been brought up too, is I should take a look at our... Leia was not gold-ranked or anything, right? Oh my god, not at all. Do we have any gold-ranked? Uh, yes, we do. Well, these are eastern brown snakes. Eastern brown snakes, titan beetles, green iguanas. I need to keep an eye on on these things. Because I, I do... We did have high-quality uh, animals. Like, why, why lose them, right? Like, you're not good... Yautel is okay. All right, so Yautel is male. Do we have a female green iguana? That might be, yes. The name that I cannot say. Chalchi Hui Rilkwe? Chalchi Hui Rilkwe? Ah, I can't. I can't. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll get it eventually. It's a tough one. It's a tough one. Animals of different species. Wait, what? You're not of a different species. You. I must have had somebody else selected as well. That must be what it was. So Yautel is good. The name I cannot say is good. I will practice that. And you. Let's get you into the trade center. Cool. Like, that's so much better, right? Like, why not? We'll draw more donations and everything. Like, why Why not? Uh, yellow anaconda. Let's go ahead and actually filter this. We have more animals in here than I'd anticipated. Um, what was I looking for? Anaconda. Right, it has a bigger name than just Anaconda. Yellow Anaconda. Y is for Yellow Anaconda, right at the bottom. All right, cool. Do we have... None of these are high-quality animals, eh? Fair enough. Okay, it is what it is. Fine, we'll keep Manuela and Remedios. Uh, up over here, we've got our Red-Eyed Tree Frogs. Are you guys... I mean, what we can do is... I think that the easiest way would be to like move them all and then move back in because then you have to redo the education, right? But let's go ahead and select you all, keep you two here because I definitely want to get rid of them because they're so old. Move you all to the Trade Center. We can look at the Trade Center. And here, Victoria. Here. And you went over here. Victoria and... Red-Eyed Tree Frog, where you at? There you are, beautiful. And Lucas. And you would as well. A little bit older, but that's okay. And you're the zoo. Now, y'all let me know one thing. Um, uh, it's, it's funny because I get conflicting comments about this from time to time. Uh, on the one hand, there is team don't bother managing exhibits. And then on the flip side, there's team you should totally manage exhibits. So I'm curious, uh, you know, who sits where in that conversation, what people feel about uh, potentially spending, quote unquote, too much time managing, you know, the exhibits. I think there's a certain charm to it. I think there's a certain uh, different type of fun to be had in, in, in that world. Uh, or in this world, I should say, where it's like, you, you know, these guys make us money too. They they deserve our like time and stuff as well. Uh, but on the flip side, I totally understand it can get pretty uh, pretty particular and, 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 and small scale and caught up in the minutia. 
I, I'm curious just to hear what, what folks think uh, in the comments down below. Just like where, where you sit in that conversation. Where you sit on that conversation, I guess. Uh, Leggy and Batara are probably good picks to have. Go ahead and get uh, everybody in here. Take a look at the Thama over here. Also good. Also good. And what about um, Ramelon? Also good. 2250. Alright, listen. Batara is a, is, a, is a name that I'm personally familiar with. Uh, long story, but an old friend. So let's go ahead and get Batara in here. Um, hard for me to resist that kind of a decision. And Ramalan and go back to the Trade Center. Cool. Even though they're also good, they can go back to the Trade Center. We'll make money off of them. So, Alright. Guys live in pairs. That should be good for us. Over here, the Roaches. I finally stopped getting very, very uncomfortable when I click on these guys. It's like I've been desensitized. But if I think about them in real life, as I just did, I immediately feel gross again. So uh, clearly I still have my limits. Winona, as in Winona Ryder. Uh, Winona can be thrown back in here. Sorry, gently placed back in here. You know what I meant. You know what I meant. All right, let's go ahead and reorganize this. Giant Burrow and Cockroach, please and thank you. Benaim and... I like having... I like the idea of having Winona in here. Winona's a winner. Where is our male? And I am sure. Both of you in here. Let's, uh... I worry about their aging. Let's keep the rest in here as well. And they're gonna grow at, a, at an insane rate. Uh, but, I mean, back on the original topic. Um, the... Yellow Anaconda, what we can do is actually get vet research going over here. Uh, Becky Jones, let's get you researching the Yellow Anaconda, and maybe that'll help us a little bit. Maybe that'll help us a little bit. Uh, as you're doing that, let's also get the rest of our staff tearing up a little bit. By which I mean ranking up. I don't I don't want them crying. Nobody needs to cry. Everyone's getting... Everyone, get, everyone gets promotions. Don't tear up. But you should definitely tear up. There we go. Just, I figure, a blanket... Uh, Improvement across the board is not a bad idea right now. Right, it's been a while since we've done this. Money is comfortable. I don't have to worry about increased salaries or anything like that. There we go. That's everybody up at five stars. Well, everybody up by one level, and then hopefully we'll have more uh, five stars soon. Um, and I want to get some of the other vets doing some more research too. Maybe get some more vets as well to really help with that education boost. And I, I think that should make us more money as well, right? If uh, when when people are better educated, they tend to. Uh, uh, they tend to uh, donate more and stuff as well. They tend to be happier. Uh, another thing that was suggested, actually, is I should really be wary of... Uh, what are you doing? There's nowhere for me to go. Help me. Where were you... What? What happened? Was everybody... Is everybody here stuck? I'm stuck? Why are you stuck? Oh, you know what probably happened? Get me out of here. Where do these guys get stuck? It's so weird. Okay, well, let's keep an eye out. Let's keep an eye out. Let's go ahead and unpause. I think we'll get to hit play. Why are you stuck here? No, okay, they're good. But I don't want to go home. Well, too bad, I guess. What an amazing day. All right, these guys are happy. All these guys exiting. Let's see if, if we've sorted this out. Yeah, okay, we're fine. That's weird. I don't know why. I guess they must have been queued up, and, and that's where that comes from when I closed it and then reopened it, right? While well, paused. Okay, no big deal. Um, hopefully it, it has been sorted. I should get some more ATMs down. This is something that's been pointed out to me and I uh, keep forgetting. Get an ATM down over here. That's a nice, comfortable spot for it. We'll eventually have more down over there as well. Over here, we can put some in the middle. One down over here. It's also been pointed out that uh, like, again, I didn't realize until last session that the direction of... Oh, my God. Get water on your money. Hey, uh, Australians in the comments, do y'all have plastic money or is that just uh, Canada? I need to know because otherwise I need, I, like, I need to know if money is getting wet and ruined or wet and it's fine. <laughs> um, yeah, good stuff, good stuff. Yeah, see, look at that. Immediate lineups. I wonder if I should put one on both sides. Immediate lineups to, to, to withdraw money. And again, if they can't withdraw money, then I'm in trouble, right? Got ATMs in here already. I believe we have ATMs in here. We must have put some down, right? Right at the entrance? No? No. Interesting. Seems like something I would do. Hop one down there. I think that's a good spot for it. A comfy spot for it. Hop one over here as well. We'd need to move you. 
over to where? We'll be over to here, sure. Go ahead and get another AD ATM. Watch, I turned the camera around and there's like five of them on the other side. Did I seriously not put an ATM down here? Wow, that's uh, silly of me. Gotta be one up top though, right? There is one over here, yeah. Absolutely. Well, hopefully this backup is clearing up. We'll, we'll come back to it in a bit. It'll, it'll need some time to clear up fully, right? Uh, and let's see where else we want to go. Oh, look, look at that lineup. See, immediate lineup. Great call, great call. I should have been paying more attention to how many ATMs. I just suddenly at, at one point started neglecting ATMs completely. Completely. I wonder if I should put some down out over here as well. Everywhere where there's a sprinkler, I should put an ATM down. <laughs> that should be my, my pattern. Put one down over here. I believe these guys do not have access to it. Yep. Um, put one down over here. You can toss your receipt in the bin. Usually what I kind of like go for, I guess. And typically, when I put one next to a bin, that's that's what's in my head. Is like, ask someone for you to throw your, your receipt away if you want to. Over here, do we have any ATMs? We should have... We should put some down up over here. One up there. And one up there. Good stuff. That way we don't need one over here as desperately. We'll be okay. We do have one up over here though. Moving on, moving on. Up over here. I think Australia needs some attention as far as ATMs are concerned. We have one right at the entrance. We have we have one over here. Okay, so we have we have some where they're gonna be probably most required. I could put some over here as well. In case someone's like, ooh, need to make sure we're ready to move you to a uh, the trade center if necessary. What are your stats like? Pretty good, I imagine. Yeah, our Baird's tape here is out of uh, out of this pair have been great. Tenok and uh, more more so the mother than the the father Nahuatl. Well, many years on her. Excellent. We need to what we'll need to do at one point is figure out our keeps versus our trades because we want to make sure that line continues right. I feel like I'm talking about Crusader Kings. <laughs> we want to make sure that line continues, though. Uh, one other thing to do is actually, I've been told that if you put donation bins down next to rides, if people really enjoyed the ride, they uh, they leave a donation. I, I, I don't. It, is that really the case? I didn't think so. I didn't think that was a thing. But that's what I'm being told. And if that is true, then well, yeah, I wish I'd I wish I'd know. Wish I'd known sooner. Let's get some ATMs down over here. Let's also check really quickly. I have a tendency. Two. Put benches down facing the wrong way. Oops. And that again is because it was only last time that I realized that benches have a facing direction. Oh yeah, look at this mess. Lipia is about to die of old age. Okay, let's uh, before we get there, Africa entrance. Always have to click on everything before I click on the right thing. Any load, no minimum wait time. Keep you rolling. Where is no? I didn't want to miss it. Damn. Your final sleep. Uh, oh, uh, uh, um, <laughs> Lipia has died. Still wiggling, still very much alive. Um, okay. It's okay. They gotta wake up and then, and then pass away. Animal died. Nope. Still, still no game. Still no. Uh, right. Donation bins. Let, let's check. I mean, again, I don't know if, uh, if I, I have no reason to doubt. Right. So why not? Going down over here. Right, these guys are moving now. There we go. See, we're getting a decent bit of a gap now. That feels better. Not much of a crowd over here this time around, but is that because we've been picking them up and bringing them down over here? Bit of a crowd over here. See, that 10 miles per hour change now might be uh, hurting us, actually. But once we once we get a good spread, I think we'll be okay. We're getting there. We're getting there, folks. I want to change you as well. I think we've learned our lesson here. Let's change you to any load. Right? Don't block station. Right? I forgot to turn don't block station on up over here. Again, this might be a good thing. This might be a terrible thing. We'll find out. We'll find out. Um, the entrance. The entrance is where I feel like we should wait. Because here is where people are most likely to get on, right? Not that many people right now. Weird compared to the full lineups we used to have earlier. Lipia, nope, still, still ticking. Still very much alive. All right. Um, 
Uh, I guess I could get another donation box down over here. It's quite the lineup now. Things have, things have gone the other way. Have they? I feel like this is close enough to the exit to count. We'll see. It hasn't got anything yet, but we'll see. Maybe the ride was too fast to impress people or whatever. Alright. More guests coming in. Yeah, excellent. I mean, is anybody complaining about the price? The zoo ticket price is fair. That's good. Well, the crocodoodoo costs nothing. I love that crocodoodoo is called crocodoodoo. Um, I can't believe how cheap main circuit tickets are. Yeah, tickets are good. What I'd like to first try and do is have people moving through the main circuit uh, happy. Like, I, I want to try and have it working at maximum... Uh, um, Oh my god, a maximum, like, passenger count before I care about upping the price, reducing the passenger count, like, that alternate solution. Before I get into that conversation, I want to try this conversation out, is is basically what I'm, uh, what I'm getting at. Good stuff. This, this feels a lot better. I think the speed change has also helped a, a significant amount. This is good. Do we have more coming? Yeah, we have more coming through. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right. We'll, we'll, we'll see how passengers get picked up and stuff. Night has come. I think when the sun rises, we'll we'll kick off our uh, time lapse. Do I need to put more benches down? It's something that's been uh, main circuit looks really cool. Yeah, you should go on it. Uh, something that's been suggested to me is it's a good idea to check what people are interested in seeing and like getting familiar with uh, um, patterns, I guess, and making it easy to get from one to the other. I feel like right now it is pretty easy to get from anywhere to anywhere else. Uh, but of course, you know, every step these guys take is a, is a month in real time, right? This seems to be going okay. I mean, let's see over here. This is where I start to get nervous, right? Where, okay, like, are you, you're going to get off one at a time? Are you kidding me? Come on. A little bit faster wouldn't hurt. Like, they keep arriving. Now, what's going to happen here? Are you going to come through? No, you're going to move out. Let me, just give me a minute over here, folks, as I, as I kind of see the uh, circumstances here. Like, I wish they would empty immediately, you know? Or, like, go in at the same time as these guys go out. Like, that, to me, that's, uh... That would fix this problem. It doesn't matter if the tr if the cars don't back up if people aren't getting on the rides. Uh, I could lower the speed a bit further as well. Could buy some more time. Yeah, it's been waiting for a long time. Great value right now, it's been a great value all the time. Dirt cheap is what they're saying. I'll up the prices. Maybe that is the ultimate solution, honestly, is to just make it unaffordable for some people. That sounds horrible to even say. <laughs> just make it unaffordable for some people. That was about as slow as it gets. Like, do I really want it to be any slower than that? Other option, of course, is to reduce the number of cars. Wow, nobody else is uh, trying to get on here. All right, well, I mean, hey, that gives us a bit of a buffer, I suppose. Painful, I'll be honest, painful. Up over here, no one's lining up, fair enough. Over here, no one's lining up, fair enough. Yes, there's nowhere else to really want to go right now. Okay, cool. Well, we'll again, we'll keep an eye out on this. A couple important... You know what, I should actually say hi to people, get the conservation credits that I need, because I am low-ish, I suppose. Uh, all right. Let's see, as the sun is rising, a couple things left to do. Kadek is getting kind of old. Coverage is very high. By the way, yeah, for the Crocs, the coverage is very high, but uh, they're not too bothered by it. They're not too bothered by it, so we're, we're, we're okay. They're bored of their toys, and yeah, not surprised there. Let's go ahead and get rid of the uh, water jet enrichment. That is a feeder, I believe. What other toys do you have, actually? Sprinklers. Oh, those are the sprinklers way out over there. Right, because those count as well. Um, habitat. Alt water croc. Poise. That giant football. You to enjoy that when you have it. There you go. Stuff. Um, so inbreeding has been brought up a little bit as like, oh, I should really take a look at inbreeding and, and, and solve that because it's going to be uh, a major headache. Um, fighting for alpha status is okay. Let's click on this. 
Two females. Oh, Guru Guru Mara is injured. Who are you fighting for alpha status with? Not these kids. Oh, look at that. Look at that synchronized hopping. Elok is expecting offspring. Yep. Um, we're good. We're good. The uh, what was I getting at? Right. It's been uh, it's been suggested that I need to be wary of inbreeding. The llamas seem to be doing quite well in terms of not inbreeding after our struggles initially. Uh, how many of these guys are on contraceptives? Quite a few of them, I believe, are on contraceptives. We have uh, we have options. We have been having babies, right? That hasn't stopped. Baby llamas. Have they stopped? Let's check your animals. I guess they have stopped. Okay. Hmm. We have two options, kind of. We could, uh... We could get rid of all the females and bring in a new female. We could get rid of all the males and bring in a new male. I think the deciding factor is going to be... Right now we have a gold rank female and a gold rank male, right? Umak is 831 appeal. Liana is 766. You, if you were to be with Umak... And again, they have their whole monogamy thing, right? Like, I wonder if I put you off of uh, contraceptives... I wish we would just say over here, like, who would be inbreeding, rather than having to click. Um, nope. Okay, so Umak is an option, but Umak is taken. Usko, Olanta. That's gotta be... Well, no, it doesn't have to be inbreeding all the time. Okay, we can try getting you off contraceptives, I suppose. Who, who are you paired with? Oh, really? Of course, of, of all the animals you could be paired with. Okay. Uh, and that is Suyana. I wonder if we should... Uh, Got three females. Alright, let's uh, let's swap out the females. Swap out the females here. We can start having baby llamas again. We have one, two, three. I don't even need to swap them out, I can just get a new young female. Sure. We don't have to send them away. Let's we'll just get a new young female. Let's do that. Oh, right, I can't click it from above ground anymore, right? <laughs> I got actually... Yikes. Uh, animal trading. Take a look at animal storage. Sorry, no, I meant animal market. Go ahead and pick up a new llama. There we are, llama. We need a new female, right? Yep. New female llama, and hopefully they'll pair properly. I mean, it doesn't matter who they pair with, I suppose. But as long as they pair with somebody else who's, like, high tier. Oh, come on. 7,500. I'm not about to drop 7,500. I'm not about to drop 7,500 conservation credits for a llama. You could... Yeah, there's... You're... Just... No. That's not happening. That's just not happening. Akla Sumak is, uh, is decent enough. Let's go ahead and adopt you from Wildlife Park. I would say that's underpriced, but... Fine. It's better than 70, 75. Uh, over to, not the habitat, but the quarantine, please. There we go. Stuff. I think I want to deliver her before we hop into our time lapse. I know I keep saying like, oh, this and then, but uh, but it, it is just stuff I want to handle. Uh, I did also want to check your enrichment levels. How are you feeling? You guys are 100%. You're good. You're happy. These guys are great. They're not upset. What about our capuchin over here? I think we changed their toys last time, didn't we? I think we did. Hmm. I'm kind of bored. Alright. Alright, okay, okay. Not a problem. I don't mind this just quite yet. Uh, we were talking a little bit about how, like, we, we might change the difficulty down the line if, uh, if this enrichment stuff gets, you know, super difficult or painful or, or what have you. I personally, I don't mind it yet, but y'all let me know what you think. Uh, of course, down below. We'll be looking to your, uh, thoughts and opinions as well. I'm still enjoying the hard difficulty 
uh, gameplay hasn't, uh, I would say, slowed us down too much or anything. Where is... Oh my god, look at them. So cute. Oh, there's so many of them. Baby. Oh my god. Okay, um... Donatu, you are the newborn, right? Who just became an adult. Anok and Halafra. Man. This pair, honestly, though, this pair has been magnificent for us. Donatu, let's go ahead and set you as a keep. Because again, these are these are these are good these are good stats. These are, these are good genes. As a keep, let's get you into the trade center though. We don't need any fighting in here. What's the crowd like in here? Oh wow, look at that. Look at that. And the ATMs are seeing some action, I hope. We're not gonna make any money off of them. Oh no, 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 no customers over here. Well that's just this period, I guess, right? Hmm. Weird. I'm sure they'll, they're they they're seeing enough action to be justified. What's the deal here? Huge lineup. Quarantine passed. Excellent. New view into Llama Lane. Stuff. Alright. Okay, I want to see what happens here because... Ah, let's see. Any load. Don't block station. Now there is one coming. But hopefully, no. See, it's just gonna, it's gonna. Okay, let's check on this one. Empty, not good. Has slowing them down made them less interesting? Well, not for these people, clearly. Who knows how long they've been lining up for? What? What? Dude, no. I. Okay. I guess any load isn't an option. If you actually want there to be a load, let's go with quarter load. Come on. Quarter load, don't block station. And like, isn't a minimum wait time directly contradictory to don't block station? Wouldn't that be uh, pointless to do? Come on. Finally. Oh man. All right. If that does the trick. That does the trick, then so be it. Pretty widely spaced out. A little bit of slowdown over here, of course, but that is where, you know, the most... That is where we see the most crowds, typically. Kind of weird, actually, how uh, how underutilized it is. Oh, people are unhappy. Hold on. Before I jump to any other conclusions, is there litter somewhere? Yes, there is. Litter over here. No other issues, okay. How, how? How do you manage that? How do you how do you have the gall to do that when there's a bin right over here? I just... My judgment of people that litter will never stop. Honestly. Like... N never. I spent uh, three weeks in Japan, and in Japan there are vending machines for everything. Everything, from food to drink to, you know, everything. Um, there are no trash cans. Like, there are no... There are no rubbish bins, there are no... There are no... It, None of that on the streets. One of the cleanest, cleanest countries I have been to. I have been to quite a few. Cleanest. No litter. Anywhere. Because they wrap up their garbage in little plastic bags and tuck them in their pockets or bags or whatever. And when they get home, they throw it in the trash. Apparently that's, that's just, that's the norm. Blows my mind. Not a single piece of litter in three weeks as a tourist, so it's not like I was just sitting at home. Traveling around actively. Yo, you're right here. You're wandering, come on, man. You're right here. Come on, come on, come on. This space has become congested, eh, because of these, uh... Because of these, uh... Vending machines. Let's set them aside over here. Y'all weren't joking when you said they, they tend to break down. Look, they're all smoking. They're all, like dying over here. All of them have broken down. Are you kidding me? Wandering. Staff room is so far away. Which staff room are you getting towards? I mean, you have you have your pick of staff rooms. I'll need to look into that probably. This needs to be sorted out immediately. A mechanic being requested. I mean, I got a couple of wandering mechanics right here for you. Why don't you uh, pick them up? That's chilling over here. Uh, sorry, I needed to also check my benches that were poorly 
placed. You're facing the right way, so that means you're facing the right way as well. Which benches do I have facing the wrong way? We're facing the right way. I feel like I've like inherently done that, but maybe not. Oh, you know what? These these guys are probably yeah, they're facing that way. But like, if you snap them, then what what am I gonna do if they're snapped? Oh wow, these okay. Time to hire a bunch of mechanics. Time to hire a bunch of mechanics. Um, and hopefully also get. Uh, Being monkey business. Okay, fine. You're working. Gladys Gordon wandering. All right. But move you down to here. Clean this mess up. I can't believe it's still there. And watch that'll solve our happiness. I suspect that'll solve our happiness uh, issue, rather, our happiness issue. Titan Town, of course, takes only seconds for them to start having problems. There we go. Really should just trade out all those uh, exhibit animals, right? Uh, okay, so that's been cleaned up. What was I going to do? Right, hire more mechanics. How many more mechanics do, could I possibly need? So that's the, the flip side. Instead of vendors, you need mechanics. And I don't know what I prefer. Put you down over here. Up your salary. Look at that. Hired and immediately put to work. At least this one is. You know what? There. Have a race. You went right to work as well. You raise as well. What about you, buddy? You're also new. There you go. Bam. There you go. A little bit of mating action going on over here. Oh, so cute. More babies en route, I hope. Yes, January year 56. Very soon. Good stuff. Hopefully some more solid genetics we can look forward to. All right, cool. I feel like that's all the management stuff that I wanted to do. We took a look at enrichment items. Oh, no, the kangaroo... Enrichment items we might need to adjust over here. And just quickly find. There we go. Well, yeah. Oh. I'm gonna be your kid. Large ball is getting boring. That's fair. Where are you at, large ball? Where's this ball at? What? Why can't I? Can I see it? Blind. Well, I don't have to remove it, I guess. I would just like to. Am I completely missing it? Not in here. Alright, whatever, I'll just get them something else for now and I'll, I'll, I'll deal with that later. Oh, there it is. Wow, right there. Uh, get rid of you. Kangaroo. Toys. They don't really have that many toys, do they? I'm unfortunate, really. I'd like them to have more options. Hanging barrel feeder is more than enough. Let's go ahead and drop a sprinkler down, I suppose. Up one down over here. Kind of hot, I guess. That should be good. And uh, actually, it's been pointed out on the topic of temperatures. I have, yep. Good spot. And thank you all for pointing that out. Pretty cool seeing the periodic power costs actually change accordingly. There we go. Uh, all right, cool. Feel pretty good about that. Um, wonder if I need. This is pretty good actually. Overcast-ish. We can tell what's going on. As much as I like uh, doing time lapses when the sun is directly overhead, this isn't too bad. Some long shadows will change how things look a little bit, but not the end of the world. Actually, are we? Nah. It's hard to, like, come here at the exact right time to catch it ourselves, but when it does happen, it'll be super cool. Alright, hold on. This place has been cleared out. Excellent. Got people... No one... Oh, yeah, a few people on the ride over here. This place is... Okay, there's one person waiting. Up over here. Up and around. No one waiting over here. All the way around to the entrance. Man, what's going on? It was so popular at first. So popular at first, and now it's, uh... Maybe it just felt more popular because it was a huge backup. I don't know. 
But yeah, you can see guest happiness was through the roof again. I think it was because of the litter. I think it was because of the litter. Anyway, folks, enough talk of all of that. Enough talk of management. Enough of enrichment items and, and all that kind of stuff. I think the animals are happy. We've tackled that. We've tackled uh, llama, uh, you know, baby production, as it were. We've tackled jaguar situation. Yep, yep, yep. Everything's good. Everything's good. Get up over here. Oh, wait. One thing I want to check. Just one last quick thing I want to check is their art shelter. Yeah, I definitely need to work on their cave soon. Maybe we do that next session alongside whatever other animal we add. Because today, like I said, we're going to be tackling this entrance area and hopefully finishing it off once and for all. Folks, it's time lapse time. All right, folks. Get your votes in. Is it option A? We get everything done. No, I'm not even gonna. We've done this before. We know exactly how it ends. Um, well, first off, let me say I'm super pleased with how this time lapse goes. The second thing I want to say to add on to that is, oh my god, this space is massive. <laughs> There's so much just area to cover. Um, but but it's okay. We, we 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 touch on that later on and after the time lapse as well. Point being, long story short, we got a lot of progress this session, and I'm really quite pleased with it. However, even all that progress is not enough to complete this entire space. Um, with that said, like I said, I'm happy with the end result. Uh, what I think I'll do is after today's session, like in the next session. And I mentioned this before, I'm going to mention this after as well, but after today's session, for the next session, I think we're going to go ahead and add another new animal, just to, you know, change things up a little bit. I, I always like varieties of spice of life. I like changing things up from time to time. So we, we've spent a couple of beautification sessions, really. Uh, we'll need a couple more. So just to change things up, I think next session we're going to go ahead and add a new animal. Session after that, I have some other plans, and then we'll come back to the entrance area again afterwards. Because again, it's important to remember as well, I think that we're, we're tackling not just the entrance, but the entrance as well as, um, as well as Croc Rock, right? So it is, it is a twofer, uh, which is, which is why maybe it's taking a little bit longer because we're going back and forth because of my own personal, you know, inability to sit still, so to speak. Um, but, uh, but yeah, there's, I've got, I've got plans for the next upcoming couple of episodes to, you know, kind of do a, a circuit around the, uh, the, the zoo and then come back and, 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 and hopefully bring this to the finish line. Hopefully y'all are cool with that and, and hopefully y'all understand the need to kind of step away from things from time to time as I've done before countless times. It really does help to get things to a certain point, walk away, come back, fresh mind, fresh execution, stuff like that. Uh, I have to say though, um... I can't wait to, to see what what y'all have to say about uh, about today's time lapse. Um, for, one, one thing in particular, and I think it'll be pretty obvious when we uh, when we get there. Uh, first order of business, though, is to get these waves done. We've we've uh, spoken a bit about how we could approach this. I've thought a lot about how we could approach this. Um, I did see the new Australia pieces, the uh, the pre-existing. I think it was fiberglass, um, you know, curved shapes and whatnot many of you pointed out like there's so many options there's so much we can do etc etc uh, great point great suggestion i checked them out i do like how they look i i really like how they look but i felt as though they didn't quite match the aesthetic i was going for or and wanted to go for over here uh they'll definitely have a place to live in the australia section elsewhere uh, but just over here they didn't feel right um they didn't feel I guess they didn't feel like random enough or, or something. I, I can't I can't quite put a finger on it. But uh they'll 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 feature elsewhere, just just not here. Uh here instead we've stuck to our, our old fashioned way of, of making these uh, these waves and I'm really quite pleased with a couple of things with regards to the colors. For one, they match pretty nicely with the uh, shop covering up front. Uh but for two, they actually match quite nicely with the uh the Australia DLC um canopy piece that I that I've placed a little bit further down the uh, the path as well you saw me put it down early on and I mentioned this after the time lapse as well so I'll keep it brief right now but the uh, the the colors the browns and 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 the the reddish browns and all that they match up nicely uh, so that felt really nice that we had sort of a, a connection uh, you can see that thing up over there right uh, we have sort of like a a, a, a a color connection going on they feel like they work in unison made me very happy to to see it come together like that and i really do like how this wood looks it's got that really 
um, raw kind of feel, right? Uh, very pleased actually with this. And 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 this is just the center area. Uh, when I duplicate the uh, the colorful boards out onto the flanks as well, um, I think at least it really brings a, a, a bit of lush life and vibrance to the to the space, um, especially this deep red. Really glad I, I put that uh, piece down and saw the red and thought I could I could use some of that punchy color. Look at that, that's absolutely love that, love that like reddish brown, absolutely love it. Um, but you can see, unfortunately, it's not as easy a job as just copying and pasting. So I actually have to go in there and put down individual boards. Uh, this I think is a large part of what um, slowed me down today, or not slowed me down. I still got stuff done, uh, but it's, it was an, an unanticipated. Uh, level of um, detail that I had to dive in there and, and put stuff down for uh, that it, it took me away from some of the other things that I was hoping to maybe uh, execute today as well but it, it is what it is I mean good things take time right and personally I think this is quite a good thing I'm quite again pleased with it right uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm all right with it taking a little bit longer than anticipated uh, patience is a virtue and all that you know all, all that all that good stuff they say say it for a reason um, but yeah you know just uh, again replicating this this wooden board idea this is an idea we've had for a long time um, it's just nice to finally see it come to life and and, and actually work. Because that's the other thing, right? When you have an idea like this, oh, you know, I need to change the color of these pieces. They're a little too bright and white. I just realized way off. Well, I need to fix that. But uh, uh, what I was getting at is um, it, it, so if an idea works in small quantities, it doesn't necessarily mean that it'll work in large quantities. So that was the one thing I've been nervous about about this thing for a very long time. Uh, I just didn't know if it would actually look and feel good when it's been spread out across all of these waves, you know, so much color and so much back and forth and whatnot, but I, I think it does look quite nice. It, it brings a space to life. Uh, ironically, it brings a space to life for for us viewing it from up top. Um, I would duplicate it to the other side as well, but um, that seems rather wasteful in terms of piece count, uh, but also uh, I, I don't know if I mentioned this earlier now, um, but you might have noticed I experimented with deleting these thick boards that we're actually placing these thin boards on top of. Without the thick board underneath, the whole thing looks very flimsy, and I don't know if I like that, uh, which is why I've kept the uh, the thick boards underneath. Um, it just looks a lot better. And I, 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 I'll actually show you a, a side, well, not a side by side, but I'll show you a comparison after the time lapse as well, because... Uh, I just want to get everyone's thoughts, and I definitely think it feels flimsy without that bottom layer. Um, but anyway, that aside, it's time to uh, duplicate this over. I decided I wanted things to be a bit more consistent, uh, because there's already enough going on. It's already, quote-unquote, messy enough. Uh, so we just kind of duplicate the left side and make it the right side as well. Uh, and then I decide to uh, work on this shop cover piece over here. Uh, at this point in time, I came to the uh, very awkward realization that I'm running out of time, so to speak. Uh, and I was like, okay, well, what do I want to, what do I want to get done today? Because again, there's only so much time in the day, uh, and there's only so much energy in the day. I'm coming off of a, of a three-hour live stream, so I'm, I'm definitely feeling that and stuff as well. There's uh, all this stuff I, I try to stay conscious of because I want to make sure I'm always delivering the best quality of, uh, of, of work, and so I don't want that to suffer. Um, you know, an extra, an extra ten minutes isn't nice when that ten minutes is a crappy ten minutes, right? That's my opinion, at least. Um, so I was like, okay, well, you know, I'm, I'm feeling the burn. I'm running out of time. I want to make sure this gets uploaded on time and stuff as well, which is another important concern. So what do I really want to accomplish today? What do I really want to get down, uh, done? What do, what do I want to get down? Uh, and doing all the shop covers was not very high on my priority list. I'll be completely frank with you. It was, uh, it's like, we know what's coming here. I can do that at any point in time, duplicate it. We all know what's coming. I've done one. We can see what it looks like in quantity. Uh, or when it's in a large quantity, uh, let's move on. I wanted to see what this looked like when it was actually implemented across the board, and I really kind of like it. <laughs> it feels very patchwork. It feels very... Um, it, it, it feels very, like, um, craftsmanship, I guess, is is the word I'd, I'd go for. Uh, so I'm quite pleased with it, uh, duplicating the, the uh, blueprint that I've created to make it easier to, to copy this stuff around. I'm trying to place these, you know, appropriately and accurately and, and, and line them up properly. There was a bit of a weird rotation going on with some of these pieces, which was strange. So you can see me fiddling with that right now, trying to straighten it out. But um, yeah, I think it looks really nice. Uh, this My plan for the center is something a little different. And I do work on the uh, 
I do work on the uh, exhibits as well, which I will do in just a moment's time. I believe that's what's up next. But this is it's good to have this stuff done when it rains. People will have some cover from the rain. Uh, they'll also be able to hide from the sun. Uh, but the gaps, of course, allow people to, you know, bask in the sun as well if they want to be if they want to be in a particular at a particular angle, but stay exposed to the sun. I don't know. I'm really pleased with with those pieces uh, and hopefully you all are as well. So time to build the little center anime piece over here. I had a couple ideas. Uh, the idea I originally had last session that I mentioned, I think, uh, I wasn't able to execute that because I realized, uh, without even needing to start building it, I realized that the pieces do not come in the sizes that I needed to execute it. And the uh, the space around it, like the flooring and stuff around it, just, it not, nothing matched to the uh, original idea I had. It would have been impossible to, to do. So I was like, alright, fair enough, that's not the end of the world, because this is my sort of alt idea that I had as well, is to integrate these guys to the, uh, the sides as well, like to the left side and the right side. And that way it kind of marries everything nicely together. Um, overall, very happy with, with how that's come together. But again, I, I am curious to know what y'all think. Uh, and then this, I wanted to... <laughs> I don't know. I, I think what I was thinking was, all right, I'll at least show what my idea is because there's no way I'm getting it done today. But I want to try to create like a mosaic type thing using the pieces that are in the uh, Australia pack. I don't know if I'll all just use the one green rectangle over here. Uh, there are a few different shapes that are available, but I thought it'd be really nice to have this kind of patterning and build our own custom, um, you know, uh, like wavy path or something. I've, I've got ideas. We're really overdoing this, but this is the entrance, right? This is that first impression. Uh, but I, I figured, you know what? I'll do that some other time. I wanted to share the idea, uh, showcase the idea and see what people think, but I'll, I'll execute it some other time because it'll just take time. Uh, but I really wanted to execute this today. Uh, it came up, it, it came up in the comments. It was just like, um, I forget the exact wording, but the implication was like, how are we going to get a, a welcome sign in here? And uh, honestly, even when I read the comment, I smiled because I had an idea and I didn't know if it was going to work. I wasn't sure if it was going to work, uh, but I had an idea. I didn't want to talk about it until I knew I had enough time to execute it because uh, I would hate to have like started executing it and then, you know, shown the idea and then not completed it and then everybody knows what's coming. I think part of the fun is that we're watching this get built uh, and, and 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 seeing it work once rather than having to come back to it, I think is a part of the magic. Uh, but yes, we are building our welcome sign and our welcome sign is heavily reliant on parallax. And you can see me constantly kind of getting down low into like children's eye levels and, and getting up high to like parental eye level. I mean, averages according to the game, I guess. Uh, and just trying to make sure that this will work. And I, I do spend more time showing you camera angles of this when uh, oh, after the time lapse. Uh, but I've always wanted to do something like this. And I thought this would be a great opportunity. Uh, I feel like it's got so much energy in it. I feel like the, the curve is really nice, like the curved type. And when you're at the right height, it's an interesting kind of visual experience. What I wanted to do is I wanted to build a little spot over here. Maybe I'll convert it into a little chair or something, but I wanted to put a little spot down, stand over here, take a look from this angle. Hello, welcome to Elite Zeus South. I just feel like it's a nice cheeky and kind of clever way to do it. Uh, lives to the brand expectations, but folks, that is the time lapse. Back to regular speed. All right, folks, we are back from that time lapse. And honestly, the scale of this space is just absolutely still blowing my mind. I thought we were going to get uh, everything done, but there is still a couple of things left to do, as you very well can probably tell. I'll probably step away from this for just a little bit and then come back to it, uh, you know, a couple sessions down the line. I do want to do some other things as well, uh, but I'm really quite pleased. With that said, I am really quite pleased with how this is looking. Uh, as some of y'all pointed out, there are some new curved canopies that I could have used, uh, and I, I did I did take a look at them, but I didn't. I, I felt like what we had going already was a little bit. Um, I don't want to say nicer because I do like what the uh, the prefab pieces are, but it was a little different, and it was a bit more along the lines of what I had sort of in my head um, of like this raw wooden material. Uh, but I'm definitely very glad that not only were we able to pull in some more sort of indigenous aesthetic uh, art pieces and whatnot, but also our color choices were pretty close to, uh, to, to, to the reference material over here. So that felt really good. Uh, I was actually able to pull the, uh, the kind of redder uh, wood colors from that a little bit as well. Uh, and overall, I think these pieces have married together nicely. And, and I quite like uh, how this space is looking. It's very vibrant. It's very colorful. Now, here's the thing, though. I've left that layer underneath it so that you can see this is not the cleanest. I might go in and, and, and clean that stuff up a little bit. But uh, you can see I've left um, the underside over here. And that's because I feel like without that underside, 
I know, I know, the piece count, I know. But look at this. See, look at this, this, this piece over here. Without that underside, it just looks so flimsy, doesn't it? It looks paper thin. I don't know how I feel about that. Whereas the moment you add that back in, boom, it's, it's got that weight to it. You know, it, it has, it's, it's substantial. It feels like it's actually, um, you know, it, 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 it like, yeah, it's, it's got some weight to it. Um, on which note, I probably need to figure out how I want to connect these pieces together. They do have some like connecting points, but I might want to like build supports for the center pieces separate to the side pieces as well. We'll, we'll, we'll figure that out, but I'm pretty happy with how like this walking experience looks and feels like as you, as you kind of go through and you look up, you've got this like up and down kind of motion. I think that looks really quite nice. Uh, I like this little centerpiece over here as well. I can totally see kids wanting to try and squeeze through this stuff and, and, you know, adults going around and, uh, and the adults inside whom the children continues to live on also trying to fit through these gaps. Um, I'm <laughs> Totally me. <laughs> um, but I, I think uh, I'm quite pleased with how this is all coming together. I uh, got these little uh, coverings for these guys as well. I might want to do something a bit more intricate. And uh, you saw me sort of playing around with flooring patterns. I just, I didn't have the time to execute that to, in its entirety. So I was like, well, we'll tackle that some other time. Uh, and, and I had previously talked about a big thing I wanted to do over here. It's going to be very time consuming to build that. And um, didn't get to it today, but maybe next time. But uh, uh, a little, a part of me is also hesitant to execute the idea I have over here because it is so disruptive. But uh, I mean, that's that's a me thing. I just gotta figure it out. But that's definitely something that, yeah, will will have to happen later. Um, now, my my favorite, uh, I think this is my favorite thing from from this time lapse. I mean, again, I'm I'm, I'm curious to hear what y'all think. But my favorite thing from this time lapse, I think, has got to be uh, our little hello sign over here. Um, I've wanted to do something like this for a very long time, a very long time. And uh, the idea here, let's, let's move this trash can actually, move this trash can to behind the, the spot here. The idea is that as you walk in, right, I mean, as an adult, as you walk in, you'll see like the hello sign somewhere around here. You'll be like, oh, okay, I, I see what's going on. I see what's going on. Uh, but as a kid, roughly yay high, right, right roughly yay high, um, as you come through, you'll see it a lot more clearly. And if you stand over here, and just crouch just a little bit. You get like that fluid. Hello, I don't know. I, I I wanted to do some. I wanted to play with parallax for the longest time, uh, like this. And and again, we did it previously with the uh, the sun shining through the uh, the little gap there in the terrain and in, in in our sculpture. And I thought, well, you know, we've done we've done that before. Let's let's see if we can't pull this off. Um, because I actually I saw a comment that was like, how are you how do you expect to put like the welcome sign? Uh, in here because like the shapes are all cool and all but there's no uh, I guess the implication was like there's no kind of like space to put the welcome sign without disrupting it uh, for me I feel like this um, plays with that wave wave feel it's got that like curvature to it it's got energy to it it feels like there's something going on here rather than a static sign uh, and it's interesting too right because after you get a, to a certain point uh, you, you can't read the word anymore until you get to, you know, like about about here, I would say. And at that point, you're like, okay, I see exactly what that's saying. Um, I thought that was pretty cool. I was wondering if there's like a more Australian word we could use, so to speak. Like, is there a common, you know, way to say hello uh, that's, you know, typical to Australia that uh, that would fit in this space as well, of course. I, I, I don't want to do like... I mean, I don't want to, uh, like, the, the, we, we have space restrictions we have to work around, of course, over here. So if you have any suggestions, let me know. And I will, uh, I will struggle through, like, building that, uh, building this sign over here. But I, I quite like it. I think it's, like, cheeky. I think it's kind of fun. I think it's very on brand with that, uh, you know, with, with the attitude and, and, and whatnot. Something special for the kids. Something fun for the parents. Like, I can see. I 100% I can see, you know, like, when I was a little kid. And I'm just like, oh, cool. I'm, you know, it's the zoo. Yay. Uh, and my 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 parents would definitely see what's going on over here both my parents are um like they've dabbled in and very much explored like the arts and stuff and they love this kind of stuff so i could totally see them being like oh hey hang on a second all right all right kid you know get over here sit down and and it just it again it's a learning moment you know you kind of it's it for a kid especially it's a mind-blowing moment and let's be honest for 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 me as well, as a, as a full-grown individual, right? Like, it doesn't matter if you're young or old. Stuff like this is cool and entertaining and fun to come across in the world. 
So for me, all that kind of stuff plays together. Uh, and and, I, and I, I had a lot of fun building this and, and executing it. I was really worried that it wouldn't work out because I, I think nothing would have made me sadder than starting this in the time lapse and then having to delete it and then explain afterwards how it failed. <laughs> I think that would have made me quite uh, quite sad, but but I'm happy to say uh, it did not fail. At least I don't think so. Y'all let me know. Uh, and then on the flip side over here, I'm going to say uh, either bye. I don't know if I'll say goodbye, but I might say bye or something else. I don't know. Yeah, I see to figure out the uh, the wording exactly might change the shapes a little bit to, to make it work a little bit better. But um, definitely happy with our with our welcome sign or as it is over here, our hello sign. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm quite pleased. I'm actually, you know, I'm, I'm having a hard time panning the camera away because I'm, I'm just trying to like look at the different angles from which it reads nicely, like over here, uh, over a little lower. You know, you get that over here if you're for some reason on your like your baby on your hands and knees, I guess. You know, at that point, you probably don't even know what you're looking at. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I'm pleased. I'm pleased, and I think this is something that uh, that the whole family can kind of like have that uh, moment of uh, what was it called? Surprise and delight. That's uh, that's the angle over here, right? Yeah, I'm quite pleased. <laughs> I'm quite pleased. I'm quite pleased. I wanted to make sure I got that in today. I wanted to I wanted to sh share my idea there. I want to get that in today, uh, which is why I kind of like I was like, listen, we'll do the flooring later. We'll do uh, this area later. But uh, but things are coming together. I think next session though. Oh yeah, right, right, right. And the the shops over here as well. I was just like placing this down, and I was like, man, this is gonna take forever. So we'll we'll, we'll get that done uh, in an upcoming session as well. But uh, but. I think next session, I think I want to get a new animal in again, just to touch on what I said earlier. Personally, I'm leaning towards the final South American animal because I have an idea that I've wanted to execute for a while. Uh, but that doesn't uh, that doesn't replace or, or, or supersede the fact that we should maybe, you know, fill out these spaces a bit. Literally, we have one animal each for Australia and Africa uh, and nothing going on over there. I mean, maybe maybe what needs doing first is, you know, finishing our little sculpture over here, finishing the, the lion enclosure. Uh, before adding a new animal. I, I really want to add a new animal next session, I think. So maybe maybe what we do is new animal next session, come back, clean up uh, the Africa region that we have so far. Calling it a region seems um, <laughs> a little funny. Uh, Say so yeah, a new animal next session. Y'all let me know what you think. Do we go Australia, Africa, or, uh, or South America? Um, session after that, maybe we go in and we uh, tune... Pride Rock, which is not the name of the enclosure. I have a name uh, of the enclosure picked out. I'm just going to implement it and share it when uh, when this is fully done. Uh, so that'll be the session after next. And then the session after that, I mean, maybe at that point, I'll feel like coming back to the entrance project or, or maybe we do something else. We'll, we'll see. That's a that's a ways away. We can talk about that when we get there. Uh, for now, though, folks, this is where we're going to call it a session. That time lapse went on for a little bit longer than anticipated, but uh, even the management stuff went on for a little bit longer than anticipated. Hopefully the uh, inclusion of the new uh, mechanics is going to solve our vending machine issue. One thing I did just realize though, and this was mentioned in the comments and I keep forgetting, so I'm glad I just remembered, but I believe, yep, yeah, that's probably why the mechanics weren't working on the vending machines. Why did you get deselected again? So weird. There we go. ATMs in there as well. Now, a lot of those new mechanics do not have work zones. I think that'll be for the better for when I make a mistake like that, you know? For when I make a make a little mistake like that. You guys and get you guys. Oh, you dead guys both. Come on. There we go. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Uh, who else? Where else? What else? Over here, this is definitely center. All of you in there, get all of you in there, get you in here as well. What, what is, oh, right, right. I was like, what am I looking at? Those are the vending machines. Um, that's all good. And then in us, well, center for now as well. Go ahead and get you, whoops. Get yeah. hiding behind, there we go. And for Australia, whoops, just a couple of these guys need to be added back in. Glad I remembered, there we go. That ought to do the trick. Done. Done. I do hope you all enjoyed this session. I really hope uh, you're as <laughs> you're as entertained by this as I am. I'm still not over it, actually, if I'm completely honest. Um, I'm pleased with that, actually. Won't be the thumbnail. I don't want to ruin the surprise until uh, until the reveal. Part of me wants to cut it out of the time lapse itself, but nah, we'll, we'll keep it in. I want to show you all 
like how uh, how I went about building it, like the camera angles and stuff I took. Uh, but folks, the sign says hello, but I must say goodbye. I hope you enjoyed this session. If you did, you know what to do. Let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. As always, it makes a massive difference in how I approach content on the channel, what I do more or less of, how I go about doing it, what I do, when I do, etc., etc. I'm sure you're familiar with the drill by now. As always, a massive thanks goes out to all of my channel members and patrons for supporting the channel on a monthly basis. Y'all keep us alive and running smoothly. And of course, a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time, cheers.